So next plant is Albizia julibrisson, the mimosa. Um, and this is another plant that's in, um, excuse me, in the, uh, in the Fabaceae. It's going to share a number of those characteristics we've already talked about with our, um, uh, our, our um, Cladizia and with our Cladrasis. It has pinnately compound leaves. In this case, the leaflets are extremely tiny and it's going to have many, many, many leaflets. Okay? The leaves themselves are quite large, but the individual leaflets are quite small. So pinnately compound leaves, the base of the petiole is going to be swollen. They're alternately arranged. It has a true pod with a very hard seed inside. So the seed coat is extremely hard. Mimosa has become uh, naturalized on the east coast over much of the, the, the range from New York down to uh, Florida. So fairly invasive on the east coast. And um, uh, here it's not so much an issue. Uh, we don't actually produce much seed in the Pacific Northwest. But we do get the benefit of these uh, lovely sort of pincushion uh, bright pink little flowers late in the season. So we still have uh, flowers on our mimosas uh, in mid-September here in, uh, in Oregon. This is much larger than I'm used to seeing back in North Carolina or Georgia as well because in, in the southeast you tend to have disease that ends up taking them out before they're uh, allowed to get quite this large. But great, uh, great tree for us here in Oregon. Other places uh, with a little bit warmer climate you may want to uh, take caution in planting because they can become um, at least somewhat weedy in disturbed areas. That's Albizia julibrescent.